because I feel like kids these days have even more problems than we used to have back in my day. Like all these kids have these deadly allergies now, and they're so scary, and no one's even sure what's causing them, but I don't know if you heard, there is a theory now, C-sections. This is true, more and more women are getting cesarean sections, and that's bad because a natural birth exposed the child to all this good bacteria, which would protect it from the allergies, but now all these women are getting C-sections, all these kids have allergies, no one really knows what to do about it. Uh, I don't know, I got an idea. Uh, how about you take the baby out from the C-section and rub its face in its mom's pussy? <laughs> I am not a scientist, uh, but I do kind of look like one. And these days, I think that's good enough, right? I even got a saying to help people remember, right? Uh, eat pussy at birth so you can eat peanuts for life. I was uh, single for the first time in a while uh, last year, and that was a big change for me. It's weird, you know, I found myself when I was single, I found myself on my phone even more than when I was in a relationship. Always on my phone, either texting women on my phone, looking them up on dating apps on my phone. I think in the end, I spent more time on my phone than I ever did with any actual women. I was worried when I finally got with one, I wouldn't even know what to do with her. Uh, she'd be like, oh, I'm so wet right now. So, should I put your pussy in rice? <laughs> Rice. <laughs> it's weird going back to being single after you've been in a relationship for a while. I'm always worried that the rules have changed. Like, I'm at, like is, the, is the guy still supposed to pay on the date? I don't know. Yes? Okay, all right, okay, all right. Okay. Hey, hey. The gold diggers have spoken, okay? We, and the rest of us are pro-equality, but whatever, whatever. Sometimes, I know sometimes a woman will like offer to pay. That's bullshit, that doesn't count. You know, you know what I call that offer? That's a reverse Corleone. Yeah, you're making me an offer I have to refuse. <laughs> Here's what I think the rule should be. I think both people should split it right down the middle. Each person pays for whatever they got. And don't just offer, insist on it. Because when one person pays, you're setting expectations way too high. Right, if I'm dropping $100 on an evening out of town with a lady, now I'm expecting $100 worth of good times. And, and I'm not saying sex, it doesn't have to be sex. In fact, if it's not sex, psh, boy am I excited <laughs> to see what you have planned to provide $100 worth of fun. <laughs> what are you, a juggler? Uh, perhaps some close-up magic. This is gonna be great. You ever go on a date and afterwards the person's like, oh, I didn't, I didn't realize that was a date. Oh, just me? All right, fuck, that, that hurts. Well, that was a low part of, of this evening for me, just now. It's just crazy, like, well, what'd you think all that being friendly and paying for shit was all about, you know? It certainly wasn't chivalry. I didn't take a horse here, I took a bus, I'm trying to fuck. Just know, if, if ever a man is friendly to a woman, he is interested in her, okay? You don't, you don't warm up a piece of chicken because you're worried it might be chilly in the fridge. <laughs> Trying to eat that shit. <laughs> Another rule I'm never sure about is um, whether you're supposed to stay after like a one night stand. I don't know what to do. I, I thought you could just leave. I got some complaints. I guess that's wrong. <laughs> I'm just never comfortable staying over at a strange lady's house, you know what I mean? She's got, I don't know my way around. She's got too many pillows on the bed. I know I'm invading the territory of whatever pet she's gotten to take the place of the baby she should have had by now. 